as I'll probably know more than I do. Last staff, as you close the distance between the two of you, um, uh, begins to conjure um, some magical energy. Uh, he kind of points his staff up in the air. Um, uh, uh. The point of light kind of congregates at the end of the staff, and then uh, four missiles shoot out of the end of it at you. Fuck. As he casts magic missile at level two. Oh, this is bad. No! <laughs> all of those hit. So, uh, uh, you take 14 damage from the first three missiles. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. You better break that staff or run the hell. I'm, I'm down. You I'm down. You I forgot his, his, uh, his staff shoots magic missile, doesn't it? I couldn't have even run away, I don't think. You bit off more than you could chew. Uh, and you got him. Technically, I think you, if you got lucky, you could probably have killed him. Yeah. He, so are, you, are, you, are you unconscious? or? Well, I had one or two failed saves because he hit me when I was down. Oh. Unless it's no. all at the same time. Uh, They're well, all the same The first time. missile was five. The second missile was five. The third missile was four. So no, yes. they're not all at the same time, are so they? So the third missile would have been um, what made you unconscious. He did cast it at level two, so the fourth missile... Um... I thought they all hit immediately. You can just choose different targets. I think. Uh, let me look at magic missile. It, it doesn't matter. I'm in his hands. I'm unconscious. You're either going to die or all be darts, sold. All darts, all, uh, the darts all strike simultaneously. Yeah. So you do feel, fail two death saves. Bro, you fucking dead. Well, I wouldn't fail saves because it's all damage at one time. Oh, that's true. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, you're just unconscious. Sam's not be playing flower instead of corn. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to have to pick some spells. Flower as a sorcerer. Uh, corn. Um, and uh, I guess that's where we will leave you for right now. Oh, back I back to slavery for corn. <laughs> or death. We'll, uh, we'll say uh, a few hours later. Um, give me a sec here. Never arrive to breakfast. You do never arrive to breakfast. Um, a, few I hours, assume... a few hours later. Uh... I assume that means we can just click the long rest button. Oh, uh, it's all black screen for me. Uh, yeah, oh, no, I know. I'm I'm putting Sam where his character is gonna wake up. Oh, I get to wake and, up in Glass Staff's sex dungeon. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! You thought you got out of the business, but the business is about to get into you. Well, when you're good at a business, you can never get out of the business. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say that your characters, uh? worth so much that they'll revive you. You wake up so. in an empty cell. Um, you're on a cold stone floor, corn. Uh, you can see through the bars. and there It's still are... a black screen for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's kinda... uh, only corn's down there. It's a, oh, okay. it's, a, it's a dynamic lighting map, so you wouldn't be able to see anything. Oh, sure. I see the slaves that I tried to set free. You see a few of the slaves that you tried to set free. Um in a cell across from you, and there are three red-cloaked guardsmen uh, in the room. Uh, <laughs> sitting at a small wooden table playing a card game together, gambling with uh, silver coins. One of them says, uh, Oh, look who it is. The furry one woke up. What you gambling over? Which one of y'all I'm going to knock out last? <laughs> um... I seen you looking. Another one. You think these thighs save lives? <laughs> you go back to learn. Another one. Uh, oh, she's feisty, isn't she? I like that. Yeah, corn's just grinning about that. <laughs> uh, and um, for the time being, uh, you are locked away in a dungeon. Um. 
Home sweet home. Do you have anything on your person that would help you escape? Um, her, cla her claws. I got her claws. Cartoon uh, cartoon. lock picking. Here, let me uh, uh, let me find the actual description of this room real quick. I'll I'll read you the actual description. Uh, rations. They're gonna help me. Her feminine diaphanous. Yeah. You know, you got to loosen these restraints if I'm going to do a proper job. Yeah. You know, I know you want me to do all the work, don't you, boy? I bet you do. She got my grip. This uh, long room that you're in, Corn, uh, is partitioned into three areas. The iron bars are walling off the north and south as cells. Uh, you have filthy straw lining the um, floors of your cell, uh, and um, the hinge doors are secured by chains and padlocks. You can see the human, uh, the humans across from you in the cell to the south, um, uh, all confined in the other cell. Um, mm. The uh, three red brand uh, who are gambling together uh, just sort of laugh as you continue to try and taunt them. Um, do you have thieves tools? Um, I think I have proficiency in them, but I don't know. I have a criminal background. What does it do for me? Dude, the, I think that, um, it's in the compendium now. Background, criminal, um, uh, one type of gaming set, and uh, they do come with thieves too. Oh no, that's proficiency, um. I got. I know. I know how to use them. If only I'd had the money. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't actually come with the thieves' tools. Um, no. I have a crowbar. <laughs> I feel like. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, a crowbar, a set of dark clothes, pouch containing fifteen gold. So yeah. Um... Dang it. Well, that. Uh, for the time being, your character um, is locked away behind or beneath. Um, well, you don't know where, but they're locked away in a dungeon cell. Um, uh, for the time being, and uh, is it a little bit nicer than on the ship? I think this might be a little bit nicer than the, the last. The cells time. are cleaner. Yeah, they're cleaner. The rest of you wake up in the morning. Um, uh, Corn never shows up to your. Oh, be uh, before we went to bed last night, I wanted to show uh, Flower, start teaching her how to do the precipitation cantrip. No, not my daughter. Um, so what you, what you want to do is there's this thing, you just kind of feel. I'm sure there's an official name from somewhere of what it's called, but you just kind of reach out and. That's how you do the magic, and I just start doing. I, I'm not. I'm not very good at explaining how it is, because I don't know what the weave is. Yeah. <laughs> I just know that you just kind of get a feeling, and you, uh, you think it, and you do it. She's like uh, droopy-eyed um, uh, from exhaustion, and uh, she's like trying to listen to you, but her eyes are like barely able to stay open. Um, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we, we we can start this lesson tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So um, Sam, for the time being, there's like a little folder called backups where your other sheet was that you filled out. You can um, make a new character for the time being. It's potential that corn could be rescued, um, and you could go back to playing them depending on how much time passes. Uh, but. I think for now, uh, you you probably should just roll a new character for the time being. Should I just work on Flower? Uh, or do you want her to be an NPC? I mean, if you could, if you want to make Flower, uh, if you want to play Flower, and uh, um, uh, you can do that. Any vocation wizard? Yeah, you know, uh, you got um, Cedric here trying to teach you magic. Uh, you could find an you could find an old spell book in um, Clillian's little personal library Snoop, while you're snooping around on the farm. Also, what I wanted to do before 
going to sleep sleep as I wanted to uh, in my room I wanted to touch the ring and go inside the ring mm. uh, yeah, I want to see you... if I could do that again sure yeah um, you try to enter uh, the glow forge you don't think you don't even have to try too hard as soon as you like have the thought of wanting to enter the glow forge um, your world warps around you you get pulled into the ring you find yourself standing um, as a uh, glow is like finishing uh, um, finishing a long sword on her one of her anvils she just tosses it into a big pile of weapons that she's made here over the last couple of thousand years in the corner of the um, forge every weapon f looking finely uh, uh, made perfect craftsmanship um, uh, you hear glow say um, hello Cedric hello 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 uh, miss miss glow uh, well we got that rock uh, the the, the... The robot man is not willing, uh, very willing to uh, part with it, but uh, I know where it is. Um, what is that rock? Lo says, um, it's a part of something old. I suppose um, now that we may be traveling together, I can tell you a bit more about who I am. Um... I had heard you and your companions speaking about genies. This isn't quite what I am. I am part of a people that used to be called the Netherese. Uh, that piece of stone that you found is part of an obelisk, uh, an object of great magic that my people used to build. All of them had their own particular purpose or power. Uh, but when our empire fell, the obelisks fell along with them. I believe that perhaps somewhere hidden in this part of the world where that stone was uncovered, there might be an obelisk hidden. And perhaps if you get the obelisk together, it would have enough power to break the magic that binds me to this ring, and I could be set free. So, the the the, the stone we found is a part of a bigger hole. Is that correct? Yes. Interesting. The obelisks uh, used to cover the world. Um, hmm. Oh, those are not good rolls. <laughs> they were, uh, they were originally crafted to undo great calamities. Uh, the noblest have the power to rewrite reality on a grand scale. Oh. Interesting. You could see how um, this kind of power could be misused. This is actually kind of how our empire fell. The powers that we created were perhaps too great for us to wield. So it wouldn't be good for these to get into the wrong hands. If the power of the obelisks fell into the wrong hands, yes, they could be misused. It could just change the world as it is today. Uh, I don't know how history has developed. I've been bouncing around in that uh, construct's belly for thousands of years now. Mm. So... What did those goblins want with it? Did, could they possibly know its power, or is it just happenstance, you think? Well, it's hard for me to say. I could sense that there was 
some power one of the goblins that you fought possessed. Some unnatural time kind of magic. Uh, not something that I would dare say is even from this world. Interesting. Something beyond, uh, maybe not beyond, but something even different than the old Netherese magics of my time. It's hard for me to tell you much beyond that. Perhaps if you've came across another one of its kind, you could bring it to me and I could tell you more. Well, I could try to go find that the body of the other one, see if there's... Do you need him alive? That would help. Okay, okay, okay. Um, she says, um, as far as the stone goes, uh, as long as it's um, within your sights, it's okay. I would prefer that you bring it here to the Glowforge so it would be safe, but if you're... Um, if the, well, um, the Salvager just wants to know who you are and what you wanted with it. He seems very uh, mistrusting. Uh, well, the Salvager is um, another Nether Netherese creation. Um, we used to make things like him to assist us. Does he have a? Does he have a? Uh, an override code or something? <laughs> Well, uh, nah. the salvager was not my assistant. I see. I don't, uh, I don't, I couldn't tell you how he got a hold of the ring. Um, but. <coughs> Maybe you could tell me a little bit more about his people or his kind. Because he doesn't really quite know. Um, I, I would, ha I suppose, I would have to meet him to tell you more. I, I, I would be making many assumptions about what he is and who formed him. Hmm. Well, maybe one day I can show him the show him the Glowforge. Yes, you could bring him here. I don't know what kind of help I could give him, but I could try. I do know a bit about the how they are uh, created. Uh, but he does seem to be um, from my time. Hmm. Uh, I believe it is, um, I believe it is the magic, uh, resonance left in the piece of the obelisk that awakened me. Perhaps it is what awakened him as well. Hmm. Um, it might just be uh, that... In a time, little bit, a little, little taste of home, perhaps. It, it might be that just, uh, in time his, um, his memories will start to return to him. Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> well, it, it is quite late. I just wanted to come and give you an update of what's been going on. Um, until I uh, come see you again, Miss Glow. Um, Glow says, uh... You probably did not, um expect this sort of thing to happen to you, Cedric. I can tell that there's a nervousness to you, and, uh... But, um... A nervous excitement! We find ourselves here now, and I would tell you that there is power that I can grant you, but in turn I would need your help in tracking down more fragments of the obelisk. 
my ultimate goal is to free myself from the Glowforge and breathe real air again. I'm sure the world has changed quite a bit since the Netherese Empire fell, but I'm sure that I could find my way in the world again. Oh, you could definitely uh, come stay at our farm. Uh, my mother, mother and I cook up quite a, quite a feast. I do believe it is the power of the obelisk that would be the only thing strong enough to free me from this prison, though. Well, Miss Glow, I think you have yourself a deal. I want to help you get you out of here. And first, first meal out of the Glow Forge is on on the Alder Leaves. She says, um. I'm very glad that we were able to come to an arrangement here. Let me um, grant you some of that power now. And uh, she says, um, if, you, if you aren't a fond of that hammer, you can choose something else from the pile if you'd like. And she points over to like the huge pile of weapons that she's made. Uh, let's see. I think warlocks can only use simple weapons, right? I think so, but in this case, you could pick whatever. Let's see. Uh... I'm trying to think. This is what, what do I have right now? A light hammer? Yeah, a light hammer. But there's like, um... You know, there's ranged weapons, there's staves, there's, um... I think my best bet might be to be more of a ranged character. <laughs> yeah. Because I am quite squishy. You know, you, ha you have Eldritch Blast, you know, so it's like if, in a pinch, if you wanted something, some kind of, sh like, you know... Yeah, like, like a close, melee weapon. Close-ranged weapon. She, she actually walks over to the pile, she says, you know, I have just the thing. And she walks over to the pile, um... She, like, goes over to a table over here, and uh, you can see there's, like, just a big uh, pile of different kinds of gemstones, and she pulls a uh, um, a small emerald off out of the pile, and she, like, pulls a short sword from the pile of weapons out, and she comes over to the hearth, and she places a blade um, into the um, forge, which begins to heat and then she pulls it out with her bare hands and puts it on the uh, anvil and she begins to kind of like pound the blade um you see her take like a um like her eyes flare up blue as she's like hammering the weapon and she kind of hammers the gemstone into the hilt of the of the sword and um then she uh kind of like holds it up um in her hands as the blade is still glowing and uh you can kind of see like a little image kind of burn into the metal of the blade as her eyes are like flaring blue and like a little emblazing of a leaf forms on the blade and um she says um this'll uh, i think this should suit you well cedric um, it'll solidify our bond, and, um, uh, it'll forge the pact between us, and, um, it'll, this, uh, this sh short sword she's going to give you, the Alderleaf Blade, um, it's going to give you a free Warlock Invocation. Ooh. So I can, uh, delete the, the Light Hammer at, uh, at the Alderleaf? Yeah, the Alder Leaf Blade plus one short sword right. uh, with an invocation of your choice. That's good. Right. So you said you said it's a plus one short sword. Yeah, plus one short sword. Got an emerald in the hilt and a uh, engraving of a, a leaf on the blade just above the emerald. That sort of uh, glows in any kind of firelight. The Alder Leaf. Um, 
Eldrick evocations. Well, thank you so much. This is it's a fine, fine blade. I uh, do a few test swipes. Yeah, she says, I didn't want you to believe that I make idle promises, so I will grant you some power now, just so you know that I'm capable. And I promise I will search all over the earth, find that obelisk, and get you, get you out of this prison here. Keep your eye out for those strange-looking goblins. I believe that they were probably the your best um, and closest lead into discovering more pieces of the obelisk. If they came after that one, they must know where others are. Perhaps they even know where the location of the base of the obelisk is. Okay, okay. So, find the, find the goblins, find the obelisk. I shall find them. As for the salvager, um, I wish I could help you more, but I think that it's more than likely it, it will just take time for his memories to return. I dare say that perhaps, much like myself, the closer you get to the obelisk or the more fragments you find, that more pieces of his memory may, may unlock. But it's quite possible that he holds nethery secrets within him. I'd be curious myself to know how he came across my ring. At that, uh... But I suppose that, uh, only, only time will tell. Salvager is quite a interesting creature. I can tell that um, he does share some bond with the fragment. It seems to be driving him. Uh, the fact that he doesn't want to let go of it doesn't surprise me. All right. Well, I'll, I'll get it out of him eventually. But until then, I'll keep it close at hand. Uh, she says, um, and uh, if you want to continue um, teaching that child magic, um, here, perhaps this will help. And she... Um, goes over to like a shelf on the far wall and she pulls an old dusty book down. She says, um, one of my earlier spell books. You can, um, take it with you. Uh, perhaps it'll help her with, um, a little more than prestidigitation. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, not the best at, uh, teaching, teaching these yeah. things. It might help so you. This... It might help you as well. I will definitely take a look at it. Most of it is written in Netherese. Oh, I should have taken uh, <laughs> the evocation for reading all writing. The, uh, the salvage. That might be my next e. I the took Devil's Sight, by the way, so I can see normally in uh, both magical and non-magical darkness. Oh, okay, cool. To a distance the, of 120 feet. The salvager might be able to help you translate. If he's if he's willing to help. All right. Glow says, "Um. Well, until next time, I hope you get some rest." Uh, until next time, I do like a courteous uh, bow. Bum 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 bum. Um, That's actually quite thematic because I was probably gonna take the. Do you like the, uh, the pact of the pact of the tome or whatever the and now back to your regularly scheduled program <laughs> mm -hmm. breakfast with a missing mother <laughs> oh I got to got to get got to cook the bacon 
We got the lot of. Oh, this is the inn. This isn't my home. No, this is isn't this, this your, is your home? home? Oh no, this is the inn. Is it? Oh wait, it is. I'm looking for the, I, the water. That's why it says the Stone Hill Inn. I don't know how to read. I'm illiterate. Okay. <laughs> Leave me alone. I didn't mean to put you guys in that one. But you'll forget everything you've just seen. You'll be there. Well, you'll be there soon enough. Yep. Um. I'm cooking away in the kitchen. Yeah, in the yeah. morning. Um. Porn never arrives. I was about to say, what was with that anime waifu pillow that I just saw on the screen? What was yeah, that? that? That's flower now. <laughs> that's flower. All right. Sam just t typed into the being AI generator, AI cat girl. <laughs> uh, right. Not too far off. Hale, you wake up in the morning. Uh, you hear Bessie in a circle, <laughs> and uh, they're like, "Get that out of here! That is not. That is not flower." <laughs> they're like, they're like I'm licking, so tiny. They're like licking your fa face out of the uh, window of the tr into the trough. Oh, hey there, little little thing or big thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you sleep well? Have you been mooing in your sleep? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, you remind me so much of the sea cows. <laughs> I wonder if y'all are related. Actually, I'm gonna have the my unseen servant cooking breakfast. I've got to go milk Bessie. I've got to do some chores around the place first. And I need to prepare my spells. Yeah. Um. Your mother says, "Um, take um flour with you, Cedric. She needs to um uh see how things are done around here." <laughs> All right, come on, flour. Flower, uh, Quillian ushers you uh, out the door. Go go with Cedric. She's going to teach you how to milk the cows. I'm going to walk over to the to Cedric's mother, and I'm going to be anything I can do to help. Um, uh, she says, um, well, what are you good at? Have him go chop wood or something. Oh uh, yeah, we yeah. are running. We are running low on firewood. I could do that, and then I'm just gonna go up. Morning routine: chopping firewood. <laughs> um, there are uh, yeah. kind of along the fence um, some. Uh, logs uh, in the back of a cart. Um, I see that. Uh, yeah, Sam, it's a dexterity check with with your proficiency bonus because you're proficient in thieves' tools, but it'll just be with disadvantage. Wait, are you talking about milking the cow? Um, yeah, no, man. he was asking if he could pick the lock with his teeth, with one of his teeth or his claws. Oh. Rip it out. Use it as a makeshift lock pick. Uh, All right, for milking the cow here, you got to firmly grasp the others. Now you're gonna think it's hurting the cow, but it's not. This actually makes the cow feel a lot better. She's got a lot of milk. Oh, disadvantage. <laughs> Is this a normal custom of your people to drink another creature's? Lactation? Aye. We, uh, some people drink goat's milk. We drink cow's milk. More, more of just the, the domesticated, uh, uh, livestock. And in Hale's mind, when you say domesticated, all she could think about is the orange cat that sat on someone's lap in dinner. No, 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 that's a tamed, that's a tamed animal. That's a, uh, House pet. This is a domesticated livestock. Just like the chickens out back. They're not more so pets, more so uh, commodities. Uh, we survive off of their uh, their uh, animal products. 
the, the chickens, we eat their eggs. And once the chicken has gotten too old to lay eggs, we eat the chicken. Uh... Um, Bessie <laughs> gives us Bessie gives us milk, which we can turn into cheese. Bessie, Jeez. and when Bessie can't give us any milk, she'll give us steak. And that's such just the life cycle of the domesticated product. Now about these utters, you're gonna want to firmly grasp them and pull down, and you just fill up a bucket or two, and she'll be right as rain. <laughs> Flower gets the hang of then, it pretty, pretty quickly. And then you need to pasteurize it. <laughs> oh no, we don't. We haven't. We haven't invented pasteurization here. You just gotta drink it and hope for the best. Do you okay. mind if I give it a try? Sure. Be careful. If you don't do it right, she might kick you. So I'm gonna stand next to basic Bessie, but after that warning. In a safe distance where I know I can avoid anything. And you gotta get I... closer than that. I push her closer to the other. <laughs> you gotta get closer to the other. Uh, as okay. per Cedric's, and it's replaying in Hale's mind. Grab the udder and pull down. Firmly Hale, grasp it. Hale grasps it, like as if she's gripping onto a heavy staff and yanks down. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Nothing's uh, coming out. Make an animal handling check. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. okay. I, can't oh. even, I can't even give you guidance. For this. <laughs> Let's see where you... Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, period! I think, I, I think you have um, luck in doing things with Bessie. A big... Um, mm -hmm. A big spray of um, milk comes out of her udders into the bucket. Ooh. Hey, there you go. It's, uh, it's, oh, it's almost exactly like milking a sea cow. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Let me take a taste. Delicious. Can I just drink directly from the udder? Uh, you can. There's nothing stopping you. I've never done that. <laughs> well, I'll make sure to adopt the customs of your people and not do the same thing. All right. Uh, all right, Flower, your turn. Give it a shot. I put my mouth right on it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, she just starts suckling it. I press the digitation and start like doing like a spray, uh, like a squirt gun. No, no, no. What? I, I can't do it right. Yeah, Hale's yeah. doing it. The, no, this no, way. Okay. no, no. You pull down. You see this bucket? We're putting it Are into this bucket. Are you mad at me? Absolutely not. You're doing fine. Just uh, put pour uh, pull the udder into the bucket. Uh, she does the bucket thing and she's like looking at Hale like she got her in trouble it, and then I wink at her and I'm like don't get it in your eye she doesn't, right, know. The, uh, she doesn't know what flower, these feelings are flower you've got it you've got it from here I'm gonna head on to, off into town Hale if you'd like to come that'd be great oh wait we need to eat breakfast first you guys need to eat breakfast. <laughs> Hale, well, come eat breakfast. You guys and flour, have, you can come too. You guys have breakfast, and um, and uh, your mother says, um, if you're gonna make the uh, the town meeting, Cedric, you should head off to the Stone Hill. It's probably going to begin soon. All right, I I take my breakfast to to go. Put some bacon and cheese in between a biscuit. And before I leave, I clasp. Um, <clears throat> Cedric's mother's hand, and I'm like, it was very lovely for you to have me. I thoroughly enjoyed the water bowl that belongs to Bessie that's outside. Uh, and she says, um, you're more than welcome to stay anytime you like. Oh, and before we head off in the town, I, I uh, and before they bring the buckets of milk in, I would like to cast uh, Purify Food and Drink on there. 
It's uh, my little. It's my little secret of uh, keeping the milk safe to drink. And I am going to use my vigilant blessing on myself. Cedric, can I learn how to do that one? Oh, it's this is a potentially this is a more of a something that's a part of my blood. Um, you, I, 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 I pull out a book. I'll teach you something from this book later. You, you all right, can. guys. I want to do that one. All right, one day. Um, later. Cedric's not teaching me the magics. <laughs> Uh, it's not mom. your mom. That's my mother. <laughs> your mother is somewhere off in town. We'll go find her. Mm. Salvager. Yeah. It's time to go. Okay. Let me, get, let me move my token. And off into town we go. Uh, you guys head into town. You make your way to the Stone Hill Inn, um, where a town meeting is to be held this morning. Um. When oh you guys... no! What? What? Sorry, I see a red border on those tokens. Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It's red. We <laughs> fight. Um, as you guys enter, you see um a couple of town folk um having breakfast as well. Uh, you see the proprietor of the Stone Hill Inn. Uh, as you would know, um. Another halfling uh, named Toblin Stonehill and his wife, uh, Cedric. Um, Top uh, of the morning to you. As you enter, yeah, so, uh, Toblin says, Oh, and to you, my friend, welcome. Are you here for the meeting this morning? Absolutely. Your halfling's going to rub off on me. We're all, we're, <laughs> I'm speaking halfling to yeah. him anyways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, it's just all. Oh, oh. Big day for you, Cedric. Your f your first uh, town hall meeting. Hopefully, the first of many. Says, uh, well, m almost everyone has arrived. You can probably go find yourself uh, a seat at the long table. And who who are your friends? Well, this is uh, Hale. She's a water lady, and the big fella here is Salvager, and he is a thing. <laughs> I think I don't know. <laughs> This is going to be a construct, a construct. This is going to be the easiest way to introduce myself. I'm a sentient magical rock. I don't think that made it any easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just me. It... I I I I I uh, uh spit off some stuff in halfling about uh oh, you know the magic. Oh. <laughs> and we all laugh in halfling. Uh Tobin oh, says, oh, oh. "Well, welcome to the Stonehill Inn and welcome to Fandolin." I. Uh, can I get you anything? Uh, actually, some uh, dwarves just arrived in town um, last night. They brought some new kind of drink brewed up in the north called uh, Moon Spice. It's quite good. They brought two oh, whole I... two whole barrels of it. Uh, I'll take a I'll take a pint myself. Uh, Don't tell my mother! And I wink at him. <laughs> Toblin uh, pours some um, uh, a pull of uh, moon spice into a tankard for you out of one of the two barrels on the end of the counter. Uh, this frosty brew um, comes out uh, in, in like a um, light bluish color. Uh, there's kind of like a reflective sheen on the water. Uh, it bubbles and uh, kind of... Um, there's like a cool steam coming up off of it. Ooh. How much? Couple couple coppers? What did you just call me? We haven't really um talked about uh the price of their beverage with them yet. Um why don't you just take that one and I'll uh, negotiate with the dwarves. All right, I had to start drinking away. Um, I don't think our tokens are on this map. They yeah, are. I'm like wondering oh, you, where you they are. You guys can drop them down anytime. Oh. How? Oh, I know how. Well, for one thing, 
Sal can't even... Well, he can. He can't get drunk, and he doesn't have any money. <laughs> Alright, let's get this meeting started! Actively a... Magical Robot Rock. I love how my new introduction is I'm a magical sentient rock. Uh, so you see um, Sister Gara at the table. Uh, you see another woman named Halia Thorne um, who runs the Fandolin Miners Exchange, uh, which is this uh, lady here. Um, you see three dwarves uh, sitting uh, at a round table as you come around the corner. Um, two of them are... Uh, more traditional looking dwarves they have big black uh bushy beards um they are dressed uh, in sort of like traveling clothes but um you see that one of them has like a pickaxe on the table in front of them and the third dwarf is a duragar um uh, he has like a big white beard and a bald head um kind of a rough rough looking fella uh the um, town master uh, named Harbin uh, says, Oh, Cedric, you're going to join us today. I, I am. Well, I suppose um, you're just about the age for it. If you're going to take the place of your mother in the council meeting. Uh, I suppose that's fine. You see Halia kind of glare, glare at you over the table. She says, um, he's just a boy, Harbin. He's not ready to be making big decisions for the town. Why do you think you are ready to make big decisions of the town? She says, pardon me, but I run the Miners Exchange. Most of the money that flows through this town flows through me, boy. I guess it's a matter of perspective. But what am I to know? But I guess it's good to start early, am I right? Rather uh, to start now and young when you're instead of uh older. Sister Gara says, Halia, there's no need to be so rude. He Ooh. can at, he can at least listen in and gain a little wisdom. Halia kind of rolls her eyes. Um, Harbin says, well, if this is going to be it, and then he says, w w wait, who are these people? Oh, they were, they're strangers. <laughs> but I gave them a place to sleep and a, a meal to eat. So I was just making sure that they were taken care of. Uh, Harbin I'm making says, sure. Um, you don't look like the typical folk that we get roaming through town. Um, uh, we have some important business to take care of. Uh, do, do you have any business with the town? Well, I guess so. I'm just going to say that there's probably a little goblin colony nearby. We were attacked in the woods by deformed goblins that had magical abilities. I assume that wouldn't be so good. For the town to have to deal with. Well, perhaps your presence is pertinent then. This, these uh, gentlemen behind you have had trouble with goblins on their way here as well. They were looking for some... Someone to help them in uh, retrieving some of their supplies that were stolen from them. Um, perhaps we'll take care of this business first. Uh, what, what was your name again, sir? Gundren, was it? Um, Harbin, like, shouts over at the table. And uh, one of the dwarf stands, he says, <clears throat> Yes, Gundren, Gundren Rockseeker, and this is my brother Nundro. Uh, this fellow here, his name is Ord, and we come from Luskin to the north. Um, we had heard that uh, Fandolin here is having a reemergence of sorts, and uh, we were hoping that we could send, uh, set up a shop here in, in, in your town. Uh, we are proficient blacksmiths, and um, 
we would like to create lines of trade between Luskin to the north and uh, and Neverwinter. Uh, Fandolin here is um, growing in population, and it doesn't seem like you have a sturdy smith yet in town. Uh, we could bring goods and perhaps even guards down as well. Um, it doesn't seem like this town has much protection. And uh, Harbin says, Yes, that is true. Um, although we haven't really had many violent incidents yet. Uh, goblins have been trouble from now and again. Um, well, Gundren says, um, we could build a small blacksmith and a trading post, and um, we could help Vandalin here grow its uh, economy, and um, as well as provide... Um, I don't know, some sort of martial presence in case anything, uh, any trouble Fanolin runs into could be taken care of. Perhaps. Uh, Gundren says, but... um, our wagons were actually attacked by, uh, some of these goblins on our way here, and we are simple craftsmen. We're not really fighters um we were hoping that we might find some swordsmen or mercenaries here in town that could retrieve our wagons for us that were attacked by a bugbear and a small band of goblins i have a question these goblins was there anything different about them than typical goblins. Well, their teeth were filed down into sharp points. Um, All right. They... Well, that's enough for me to tell you this. The goblins were looking for a particular artifact that was in the woods. We have come into possession of it, although I'm not open to disclose more about it. Let's just say until they get it, they're going to attack. And let's just say you do not want goblins with ultra with powerful magical artifacts. So I believe it would be in the best interest of the village and for you if we got rid of them. If you know what I mean. Gundren says, um, well, we are certainly willing to pay. Uh, it sounds as though you've had some experience in fighting with these goblins already. Um, if you're volunteering to retrieve our uh, wagons for us... Um, could... I stand up in my chair. I'm the man for the job! <laughs> Sounds like an adventure! And I pull out my sword and point into the sky. <laughs> and there's prize money! A moon maiden guide me, gods. Uh, Gundren says, um... Well, that's the kind of enthusiasm we were hoping for. Just name where I need name where I need to go and what dungeon I need to plunder. We do you do remember where the go we do know where the goblins came from. They're perhaps in that cave back where we first met near the river. Well, that would be our first place to search. We were attacked uh, on the road north of Phandalin. Um, I We had hired one mercenary to travel with us, but um, the goblins overwhelmed us. Uh, we decided it was best uh, to flee towards Phandalin instead of losing our lives. We could always have more good scent from Luskin, but we'd like to get started on erecting our... Um, building and um, many of the goods that we brought with us for building materials and such uh, were in our wagons. The best place um, to look would probably be at the crossroads where we were attacked. To pick uh, up by the way, could you put the, the Fandolin map just so I can see? Oh, sure.
Thank you. All right. And Acorn. So the two places that they've been sighted are in the north up here, right? And then near the river down here. Now we know that these goblins came from came from a cave down here, which reason that their stronghold is somewhere underneath Phandalin. I don't know much about goblins, but I say we st I say we go where you were attacked and go from there. I assume so. There might be an entrance to their cave up. To the north. But what bothers what I'm wondering is if these goblins know how to tunnel, then we might have a bigger problem on our hands. They lie underneath the town and I think ever I am talking for everyone we want this town to fall because of some puny goblins so i agree this is of the utmost importance we should go north you know i must have been to say that in all fairness i left where i came from and i met people who want to provide help and in doing so I want to help this magical rock find whatever it is that they want, and I want to help this gentleman named Cedric assist me. No, I want to assist the gentleman Cedric in whichever way that I can, because he offered me a warm place and protection. Then I believe we have our deliberation done. Well, we should, um... Well, does anyone have anything to note about this topic? Yeah, Harbin says, um... Well, we'll put a vote to uh, whether or not we're going to allow the dwarves to set up shop here in Phandalin. So all those in favor, say aye. Aye! Hi. Uh, aye? Pallia says, um... As long as they don't interfere with my exchange business, then I don't see um, any trouble with it. So I. And um, Sister Gara says, I think their presence would be welcome. Um, it would be nice to have um, some new faces in town, especially if they're able to provide some more protection for the people here. Um, with every passing day, those red-cloaked fellows get rowdier and rowdier. They've been causing trouble in the streets. I would also... Well, I don't necessarily know this, but I would w ask you to keep an eye open. One of our companions didn't return after the night. Don't know if they're fine or not, but let's just say they look like a walking cat. <laughs> Pretty distinct. If you find them, point them our way. I don't. Uh, Toblin, like over by the bar, says, Oh, she has a room here. Did she come during the night? No, I don't believe she ever returned to the inn. Interesting. I wouldn't put it past her to wander. But I... I guess it's not enough to keep... It's not enough to declare her missing persons. Forget about it. Alright, where do we start in fighting these goblins? Gundren says, um, they, uh, they attacked us on uh, the road, um, about a half a day's north of town. Uh, 
just before the road to Fandolin meets the Tribor Trail. So around there, or over well, there. Okay. Well, I say we set out. I, I agree. Oh, Don't worry. Wait, should we try to find... Uh... <laughs> Corn's gonna die. <laughs> I love it. She saved at least her youngest baby. The other ones are probably adults by now. She did something good. She saved her life. Moon Maiden watch over her. Well, she's in good hands with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we set out towards the place they got attacked in. Uh, I'll, I'll send a little message to my mother that uh, I'll be back uh, sometime next couple days. Okay. Off on an adventure. <laughs> I mean, uh, we don't. We're not going to struggle with food with the amount of rations I have and good berry. Also, I can cook. I have rash. I have rations in my ring. And good berry is the best. Off to see the road. Flowers reading her new spell book, I guess. <laughs> She's learning how to read also. <laughs> it's all in, there's multiple different type of letters. She's like, not sure what they mean. <laughs> yeah, it's you, a Luna you, guide, huh? You, wouldn't, you would have been fine if I hadn't nat 20 that random encounter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, I kind of in my head was like, you know what? I don't know even if I dash out if I'm out of the range of his longest range spell. <laughs> to be fair, you're the one who decided to start a combat with uh, Glass Staff at level 2. I think in close range it wouldn't have mattered, because it would have been disadvantage on everything else, except for Magic Missile. Yeah, Magic Missile just hits. Alright, so we're on the road. Yay! Uh, yeah, Gundren, before you guys leave, he says, um... Glass Staff's a human, he shouldn't have been able to see me in the in the dark. <laughs> Uh, he you says, were right um, up. In well, we had a man uh, traveling with us, an an older, oh. older veteran um, by the name of Sildar. Uh, he um, was uh, protecting us, and he stayed to fight the goblins. We're not sure what happened to him. Um, it's not really terribly important, honestly. If he returns. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I would imagine that the goblins probably killed him already. Um, what's most important is our, our, our wagons. Um, a, lot of the, a, lot of the equipment, a lot of the equipment and things um, we brought with us were, were fairly expensive and it would be terrible to lose them. Um, we'll get them. I... Just to want armor in return, to be honest. We are able to bring most of our uh, stuff back. We'll be able to pay you 50 gold each. Whew! That's more gold than I've seen in my life! And uh, the um, my employers, the Squallhaven Brothers of Luskin, will be indebted to you. It's their business that we're trying to set up here. Alright. Let Saluna guide you in your endeavors. The Squallhavens are expanding their business in another campaign. We love it. <laughs> we love to see it. Yeah. It feels very Squallhaven to say, don't save the men, save the car. <laughs> yes. I assume, I assume this is a reference I don't understand. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's their characters in our other game, in our previous game, yeah. Their business. Squallhavens would um, say that that's just a, a part of business, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's one less salary we have to pay. Yep. All right. Or bird people. <laughs> Ooh, it says exclusively in the contract that you only get insurance paid if you die in place of protecting the product, not in place of protecting the people. Sorry. <laughs> so no insurance money to your family. I have merchandise on me. All right. Off to, off to the the woods. Um, 
So, Flower, are you going with them? Um, so I kind of assumed in that dynamic I was still at the house. I didn't assume that I had, was able to go with them. I, I kind of thought they were like saying, okay, we'll come back for you, Flower. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Cedric, you know, did stop to leave a message um, for his mother. Uh, so uh, if you're, yeah. I don't want, I, you know, we, we might have like one combat encounter here before the session ends. So if you want to. I don't want to just like leave you sitting there if you want to go okay. with Flower. Uh, Flower is going to sneak out the house and catch up with them like like five minutes after they think they've left the house. Oh, okay. And yeah. Maybe you snuck like, out and you are like uh, waiting for them at the edge of town already. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys head out um, north and take the path, uh, the road out of Fanwin north towards the Tribor Trail. Um, and uh, just a little bit of outside of town, you spot um, Flower, like, hiding in a bush uh, on the side of the road. I scared you! Mm -hmm. Ah! Flower, what are you doing here? <laughs> God. How We're many going children? going somewhere! I'm on time! God, how many children am I going to have to take care of? Sal, you're so big! Can I climb? I get down on my knees and let her climb on me, l like with the most unhappy, begrudging face imaginable. <laughs> this is this is this is the this is the uncle that doesn't want to be there. Um, I don't think I can click on this character sheet, Ryan. Uh... Wait, oh wait, no, I found it. Never mind. Oh, is, the, is it the corn one or? Um, I put another. I I couldn't edit that one. Oh, oh, you made your own up there. It's a level one wizard. Uh, yeah, that's fitting. Oh my! I'm so high up now. I'm bigger yeah. than you, Cedric. Hi, you are quite big, but uh. I'm actually quite full size for a halfling, so it is what it is. I'm the big sister now. Uh, sure. <laughs> What's effort you need? Let's see how many goblins. I'm just gonna use uh corns token for your vision corn okay um, uh, I'm just uh, image of my mother. I, don't, I don't think there's any reason that this map needs to be dynamic lighting so let me change that real quick it's not like we're in darkness those yeah. the 20 goblins on each side well also, i mean I, also i guess i won't need dynamic lighting anymore since uh i can see well i'll change your token um to 120 and I have the 300, the 300 feet, uh, dark vision. Dang. Why is you so far? Uh, cause I'm a Twilight Cleric. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So Luna decides to bless me sometimes. Is it always 300? Yep. It's, it's that's, ridiculous. That's dark vision. I can see yeah. regularly in the dark. So does that apply on to me as well? I mean, I can share it, like, not always, but I can share that dark vision. Well, um, you guys are on the road leading north out of Fanlin for uh, about a half a day, and you make your way onto the Tribor Trail. Um, as you come around the bend, you actually do stumble upon the scene of a recent battle. Uh, the woods kind of press close to the trail here um, with a steep embarkment of dense thickets on either side of the road. And you spot two horses um, with their, like, bridles cut, uh, wandering the road, um, kind of grazing on the bushes along the side of the road. Well, I guess we found our sites of robbery or whatever you want to call it 
uh, keep your eyes open. You never know where there can be goblins. Oh dear. Uh, Dal's gonna like get closer, go walk up to the horses, and just check them for wounds. Uh, yeah. Why doesn't everybody make some perception checks and um. You make your way up closer, Salvador, to the horses. <clears throat> One of them does have an arrow sticking out of their hindquarters. Um, it's They're both kind of skittish as you approach as well. Why don't you make an animal handling check? Oof, I can see but everything. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> the horse is healthy. Um, <laughs> as you get closer and you're like about to reach out to examine where the arrow's um, in sticking out of the horse's hindquarter, uh, something spooks the horses, and they go bolting away from you in a gallop. And um, then you hear some rustling uh, to the north of you, Hale, in the bushes. And uh, you turn and you look up the little embankment, and you see a beady little pair of eyes sticking out of the bushes looking at you. Uh, they Could like... You where? Uh, yeah. Goblin. Oh, there we go. So I see the eyes. Damn, bro. I really got a nat 20 plus 5. Plus 5. <clears throat> uh, you oh, hear hold on. The... Let me roll initiative. As Are we rolling in yeah, roll initiative. Um, since uh, somebody spotted the goblins, you are not surprised. Um, as I have... you, as you meet eyes with this goblin in the bushes up above you, Hale, uh, it starts barking out in goblin. It says, um, "More victims, kill, feast," and uh, it looks like it's like drawing a arrow at you. Everyone, look out! There are goblins to the left of us. All right. What's a goblin? It, it's wild it's creatures. The meanies. Imagine them like not nice people. Okay. I need battle music. Wait. Um. Could you? I don't know how you can do this, but. Uh, I don't know how to roll initiative with advantage because of my um, uh, class feature. So I rolled a 20 first and then an 18, but the turn order only has an 18. How do I change that? I can oh, change it there. for you. Just like that. <laughs> uh, there, should be some, there should be some bad, battle music going. I there is. I rolled bad. How do I fix that? <laughs> uh, 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 have you tried uh, getting good? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That usually helps. Uh, Salvager, you, um, the horses uh, bolt away from you, and then you hear the goblins in the bushes on all sides uh, starting to shout in goblinoid, Kill! 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 Maybe I should cast Prestidigitation on him, the one spell that I was taught. These Goblins I wasn't expecting. Really I wasn't dead. expecting a uh, flower to come into combat with us today. I would have taught you Eldritch Blast if I knew that was the case. These goblins are really getting on my nerves, but I guess. That's like I'm scared. What it is? Which one? I Hi. use. <laughs> uh, I use my bonus action to uh, get some magic stones, and then I throw one of them at this one. Thirteen. Oh, yeah, is let that me, it? Let me uh, mark them real quick. Uh, 13 does not hit. You hurl a magic stone up over the embankment into the thick brush, and it just know, disappears in the foliage. Ugh, fine. Um, look. Don't, and I'm talking to everyone at this, make sure y'all aren't getting into melee combat if you're a spellcaster. I'm not looking at a certain I'm, a, little... I'm a halfling. I'm all about fighting. <laughs> God. That's Speaking... why I have this magic sword. <laughs> I and my. Uh, I'm gonna. How do I fight? Wait, do I punch him? 
Uh, I don't know what you're good at yet. I'm gonna move closer to the group and end my turn. So I'm curious because I saw them and I alerted everyone. Does he really have to end his turn if he wants to move to us or? No, because I did my action and my bonus action and then my movement and then oh. I end my turn. Yeah, you can do stuff in any order. Okay. Yeah. Do those horses provide any kind of cover? No, they're, they're, gone. They're, they're gone. Uh, oh. they're, cur they're currently running in the other direction, but they're actually drawn on the map, so I can't move them. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where's the cover? Uh, yeah. Um, Just, uh... The one that was grinning at you there uh, up in the bushes tail is uh, going to shoot you with an arrow That's or fine. attempt to out of their short bow. Uh, so you take five piercing damage as uh, they shoot you from um, the brush above. Oh no. And uh, you're up, Hale. Oof. Hold up. How do I raise my health? Uh, uh, ooh, here. I think I know how. You said Wait. four or five. But how detrimental how detrimental will a forest fire be right now? Very. And I do not want a forest fire right now. Yeah, it's, it's probably probably not a good good idea. Maybe. No, it isn't, but this wouldn't be the first time one of your characters does a bad idea. I still remember the time you sold my son. No, that was a great idea. I got everything I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I killed you, and you had a and you had a revive thing. Yeah, yeah, and then I put you in the mirror. It's all good. No, you killed me. Oh, you're right, I did. And then I put your dying corpse into the mirror to die. Forever. You never got to die. You're yeah, you, did, you didn't get to die. All right, hey, all your turn. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to open up the thing over here. Um. <coughs> If I cast Thunder Wave, does that mean 15 feet from where they're standing, or does no, that mean... Thunder Wave is a square 15 feet in front of you. Uh, yeah. So it'd be a square like that. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Uh, essentially, it would that. be essentially that. Oof, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a terrible thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Ray of Frost on this guy. Playing with low spell slots is something I've done before, but it's not my favorite. Uh, yeah, go for it. Ooh, Nat nice. 20. Ooh. What does that mean? A does double mean? damage dice. Yeah, okay, you click the Ray of Frost thing and it'll do damage for you. Just uh, click on Ray of Frost. There you go. Ooh. Eleven. Oh, almost uh, max damage. I'm pretty sure, right? Is it D8? Yeah. A beam of. Oh no, that's thirteen. Frost uh, strikes the goblin up above. It like tumbles down the little cliff face, um, rolling to a stop in the bushes at your feet. Uh, uh, that do you want to do you want to move or anything, Hale? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get next to the rock. There we go. You're gonna hide behind me. Yes, I'm gonna use you as a shield. Okay, Cedric, go ahead. You're up. All right, I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at this dude. <laughs> Does an 11 hit? 11 is a miss. Dang. That sucks. Anything else? Uh. I can. What I, if I if I move and be underneath? Uh. Uh. What's his face? <laughs> oh, am I gonna? Wow. I'm blanking. I have notes. Uh, Salvager. Since I'm uh, a hobbit, you would can that pick, count as cover? You can pick as a direction north, south, east, west to get cover from. What? Oh, okay. Uh, 
Let's see, they're equal. I guess the the I'll hide under them and hide, choose north. Okay, go so, go below them. Go like on the yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, cover from the north. Okay. I just love that we're using <laughs> the tank. <laughs> I mean, it also works with the fact that I'm the one that has the highest AC here. Uh, so we'll give you a uh, half cover from the north, which is plus two to your AC. Okay, so I have a 17 AC now okay. from the north. Uh, now you have a higher AC than me. Uh, Wait, thank you. From the south, um, there are two arrows uh, that come from the brush. Uh, one at you, Cedric, for seven piercing. Uh, and uh, one at you, Flower, for six piercing. Oh, wait. Doesn't that, like, knock Flower unconscious? Uh, depends wait. on the con bonus. Wait, did you hit Flower? Yeah. For how much? Six, six, six. piercing. Six? Yeah. Are you, are you knocked unconscious? Um, I think I have seven. <laughs> Oof. Oh, thank God. Uh, Flower, <laughs> you're up. Flower, you're up. Flower might not get another shot to do nothing. Run, Flower, run! Look, Flower, <laughs> I need you to... I need you to do something called dodge. That would be very nice. That way the meanies can't hit you, and I don't have to deal with an angry cat moth. Uh... <laughs> Um, I don't feel really well. I'll help you. Just don't get hit anymore. Otherwise... Um, she's gonna cast a line of that on these people. Okay. No, um, when you learn that spell? She just starts throwing up acid. <laughs> she's seen some things. She's learned from Mother. <laughs> Mom yeah. drinks a lot and then she does this spell. The goblin saves and the bugbear fails. Oh, good. Uh, for acid damage. Um, I think that it has to spend a turn ripping, washing the acid off of itself, or it takes 2d4 the next turn. Oh, really? At the start of each of its turns. Ooh, that's good. Is that a first level spell? Yeah. Nice. Acid's Cautious great. Cossack Brew. 2d4 at the start of their turns. Yeah. I saw that spell. I was actually... Or whatever it is. Uh, okay. Salvager. Oh, no, wait, sorry. The, uh, um, other is there anywhere better I could position myself? <laughs> um, probably not, no. <laughs> no. Um, uh, I mean, you could use an action to, like, yeah, dodge or hide, but um, you already cast a spell. Uh, well, if I use feline agility, I got more movement. A goblin misses you uh, with their short bow, salvager. <laughs> and it's All right. Okay. Uh, sleep. 31 HP of creatures. Um, what's wait? I need to read the spell. It starts from the lowest and goes up. Creatures in 20 feet of a point. Uh, Are you going I, to the group to the north or the south? Uh, the group to the south. Okay. Uh, they fall asleep. Oh, that's good. Um. Ooh. Then, is that a bonus action or an action? That's, a, that's an action. Well, I don't have anything else I can do as a bonus action. <laughs> and I don't want to move. Okay. So, so, just all of you, the enemies to the south aren't a nuisance. Now, get behind me, especially you, Flower. And I end my turn. Um, I don't feel real good. Roll 2d4, Flower. E. Mm. 
<sighs> so the bugbear takes five. Um, and then kind of stomping out of the brush and sliding down the little embankment here, uh, this tall orange furred beast comes out of the overgrowth. Uh, they have a big spiked club in their hand and they're kind of growling. Um, there, some of their patches of fur are like bubbling and burning away um, with like this uh, kind of caustic dripping slime. Um, and uh, let's see. Bugbear's, I think... Uh, kind of hairy. He's gonna just take the dash and come five, ten, thirty, and come Mama's right. right. If right I do magic, demons will come for me. Right face to face with you there, Salvager. Um, and Hale, you're up. Why, hello there, little bug. Oh no. I need to protect my friends. So I'm gonna move here. Can, or am I like, are they walling me out from making any movement? Oh, you can move. Okay. You can move through friendly squares. Okay. I think. You can. And let me just read this to make sure. Do I have to make a, a range spell check if they're literally right in front of me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a disadvantage, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. if you're catching a range spell attack, you don't want to be right next to them. Ah. Okay, so what if I do a range spell but someone's in front of them? Uh, you uh, get flanked. In front. You get You can still uh, make a range spell attack, um, even if someone's in front of you, yeah. Depending on what the spell is, it's um, possible you'll hit somebody, but... Okay, because like, um, for and also my next question would be, does acid stack? So, because I know that, um, Flower already used her acid attack and is doing damage over time. If, if your I cast... spell had some lingering effect, it would also take effect, yes. Ooh, okay, so what, could I use acid splash? Because it says if they are within five feet, could I just do it on him? Yeah. And not worry about my teammates, like, you know. Yes. Alright. Acid Splash is a DC saving throw, right? It says. Let me post what it says. Ye yes. Dex yes. save. Do I have something I could just stab it with, actually, now that I think about it? Uh, yeah, I have a dagger. Yeah, you have a dagger. <laughs> Your spells probably has a better bonus. Sorry, I probably yeah. should. Hale might have good dicks. Let me see. Cause I should have thought about. She's a strong lady. I want to grow up to be just like her. <laughs> uh, I don't have really a good dick. They, fail, How, they, they failed the saving throw, so you could roll a d6 for the acid damage if you wanted to. You know what? Let's just go for acid splash for fun. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to waste any more spell slots for this encounter. Hey. They damage. take uh, three acid damage. Yay! And it says here this spell. Oh, so every turn they have to roll for dexterity now. We lost somebody. Yeah, no, it was accidental. I accidentally left the. Cedric, you're hey. up again. What do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Kill the ones that are still awake, perhaps. Uh, and... uh I want to get this one that's right here away from me. So, um, Eldritch, Eldritch Blast, a disadvantage, I guess. An eight is probably not gonna. Nope. You're not. You don't have disadvantage. I thought it's a it's a ranged spell attack, though. You're eating the bugbear? You're yeah. 10 feet away from it, though. Oh, wait, does diagonal uh, count as 5 feet? Yeah, diagonal yeah. count as 5. Yeah. Ah, then yes. Just step back and let it smack you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 8 is a miss, yeah. 
<laughs> Why didn't you move, Cedric? Because I don't want to get hit! I guess I might get hit anyways, so... Uh, I'm gonna use my movement to... Um... Back up. Sleep I think bug bears have reach. It might not have done an opportunity yeah. attack, actually. Sleep is such a good spot at low levels. What's your AC right now, Cedric? Um, does he still does it still count that he's from the north? Because I'm still uh, next to. I'll give you the partial cover, yeah. Um, so what is that? Seventeen. Yeah, okay. that was good. You rolled a sixteen. You just missed. <laughs> I duck good. underneath his uh, his club. Oh. He tries to swipe it as you back away um, from Salvager. Uh, you feel the wind of his big mace just like fly right by your cheek. Corn, uh, you're up. Corn, who's who's she? <laughs> uh, flower. Uh, flower, flower. Uh, flower is gonna try to cast another spell while she still can. Um, Gonna do magic missile, and I'm gonna do. Uh, I guess I'll do two at the guy in front of me, and one at the one to the north. Okay. Uh, do I just press it? Yeah, just or... three t press it three times. It's fine. So, ooh, that's a high roll. Eight damage total for the bugbear. And then three to the goblin. Yep. Okay. Oh, I wish he was dead. <laughs> um, the goblin above you all uh, is going to shoot with his crossbow, or his shortbow, uh, at you, Hale. Um, I'm back, sorry. The arrow sticks in the ground right at your feet. And uh, Salvager, you're up. Alright, um, I'm going to take one of my magic stones and just ram it into the bugbear's head. Okay. Does that does count a, as like an improvised weapon? Does a 14 hit? 14 is, does not hit, no. Even if it's right in... You try to smack the bugbear upside the head, um, his thick skull, um... It's just too hard for it to hurt him that much. Um, I don't have any bonus actions yet. So he, has, that's... Uh, he has nothing to wash himself off of, so roll t 2d4, Flower. Ooh. Please kill it. <laughs> kill it with fire. <laughs> Does it Your also... acid uh, melts a little more of his uh, flesh away. Um... And then, uh, he will try and smack Salvager with his big morning star. Uh, 17 to hit you, Salvager. That hits. You take 13 piercing damage as he um, oh, hits oh, you wait. upside the uh, your magical mossy head. I only have 9 HP left. And that would have that would have knocked me out. Hail, you're up. I had got plus two con from okay. being. I have a lot of HP. Bugbear says. Uh, feed you to Clark. Clark, new name. I say this in Goblin, by the way. You're not going to get far enough for that. But your little party siblings, oh, they're not going to have such a good time when they tell us where you live, exactly what do you want. You talk too much, I don't break your skull. That's what the others said, but <laughs> I'm still here. And they're dead. Hail. Let's see if you can do better than your sisters. Um, does it take an extra 1d6 or no? No, your spell is different. Oh, it's different. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ray of sickness on it. Con save? It says here... Uh, they fail. Oh, but that was an example. So. Oh, it's a spell attack? Yeah, and then they do a concert. Oh, okay. Um, you, uh, 
try to cast a ray of sickness. You reach out your uh, hands to try and grab the bugbear, and uh, um, uh, you uh, you're not able to get a hold of him to cast your spell. <laughs> I had my turn there. Cedric. Eldritch blast. All right, Cedric is, is going to. Sh <laughs> I'm going to try. Eldritch blast once again. Oh, man, I can't hit. Yeah. At least it's back. It's back to flower. Oh, it is. <laughs> no, there's a bunch of goblins. I gotta go. Oh yeah, but those they're asleep. Oh, oh. The power of sleep at early levels. Halfling flesh, my favorite. <laughs> goblins uh, are sleeping. Uh, flower, you're up. Um, you're right. Sure am. <laughs> uh, take it that's a miss. Uh, Eleven is a miss. Um, Damn, guys, just fucking stab it. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I think Flower is getting scared. Um, um everything's going to be all right. Three of us just hit it with a stick. It'll, <laughs> <laughs> it'll definitely die. Uh oh, feline agility. Um, didn't he use his opportunity attack to attack Cedric? Last round. It's a new round. Oh, it's a new round. Yeah. Oh. She's gonna try to run away. Okay. <laughs> oh, the, this is. Oh no. <laughs> uh, what's your AC? Eleven. Oh fuck! You turn to run. There's like a whoosh of air through your hair, <laughs> and as it just misses, it rolls a ten. Oh <laughs> god! Um, and, Whatever sixty uh, feet is that way. Salvager, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action magic stone and then try to ram him with a magic stone again. A nine! <laughs> How utterly beautiful! He swings at you again with his big morning star. Um, as you he takes two d four. As you two try try to trade blows, your like arms, your forearms like hit each other, and you both stop each other from hitting each other. Um, Hail, you're up. Oh, doesn't he take two d four? Oh yeah, roll your two d four damage there. That's what flower's good for. Acid. Uh, three total. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Um, am, am I making you proud, Dungeon Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> well, if nobody else hits him again, he'll uh, he'll die at the start of his next turn. <laughs> no matter what you roll. Uh, Hail, you're up. Does an 18 hit? Uh, 18 Thank does hit, yes. Thank the gods. Hail, you drive your dagger into uh, the bugbear's neck. Um, he topples at, uh, to the ground and a little plume of dust w with the weight of his fall kind of flies up around him. And I say, I guess magic isn't always a solution. Well, I'm not here to, to waste <laughs> that much energy, but sure. C Cedric, uh, there's been a little hail of arrows um, from an one more goblin up in the brush in the north. All right. Oh. Uh, shaking out my hands like, this this magic stuff's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch. Eldritch Blast? Does a 15 hit? It does. Lit. Yeah. Four plus two, so six damage. And he gets knocked back 10 feet in a straight line. Ugh. Where are you seeing the damage for that? Yeah. So one fours plus my three for charisma plus my two from my Jin ability. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Um, one one attack per turn. I can add uh, two bludgeoning damage to my attack. He gets blasted back. Um, uh, there's kind of silence of, from the rustling in the brush as the other two goblins are uh, left sleeping. Um, <laughs> Well, I guess 
you know, interrogation's not my strong suit. Flowers but... crying off in the distance. <laughs> um, question. You, Cedric, can you go deal with Flower? I don't want her to see what I'm about to do to one of these goblins. Mm-hmm. As he what walks... What are you about he, to do? As he walks into the forest. Oh no. Interrogation sometimes is not as pretty as it could be. Anyway. Could we do that next session? Yeah, we'll do it next session. Um, Salvager uh, walks up the embankment into the forest to go find a sleeping goblin. Um, said that I, uh... Uh, Flower's kind of like uh, crouched in a bush um, off in the distance. Uh, I guess that... I'm going to help tend to her wounds and take a short rest. Okay, yeah. Uh, Cedric, there's an arrow in me. You've got a bugbear and um, two dead goblins, and uh, flower can be uh, level two next week. Ooh. Uh, can can uh, everyone play next Sunday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Let's see what my schedule is looking like. If if everyone can play, we'll play next Sunday, and then we'll take a week off the following week. I don't have Thanksgiving, so next Sunday is just a normal Sunday for me. Okay, because the... Yeah, the third, I will be out of town. Or I'll be doing things. What day is that? So. Is that... It's not next oh, Sunday, the fo- but the, the Sunday following? after that. Oh, Sunday yeah. after that. Okay, yeah, so that works out. So that well, works out. Three perfect. weeks on, one week off, yeah. Uh, Alright, cool. I'll catch you guys all next week. See ya. Alrighty. Horrible, horrible things are happening to corn off in the dungeon somewhere. Oh. Or, or a good thing. We don't <laughs> no. know what's happening to corn. Yeah, that's yeah we good. don't know. We don't even know where corn's at. Um, yep. Do you, uh, well, let me ask you, Sam, do you want to keep playing corn or do you want to make a new character? I like playing corn. Um, okay. If it's better for the narrative that something bad happens to her, I'm fine with that. I like playing her though. Like I like all the risky stuff. Yeah, no, some like she can just remain a prisoner, you know, for the time being. Um she's training the only way the way she trained the first time. <laughs> well, there will be opportunities for you to escape. Um, but I just wanted to give you at least something to do for the rest of the session so it's cool that it kind of worked out that you could play flower as a little wizard for the time being. i'll have to tire those boys out yeah. one way or another flower flower learned some magic uh from a, from a another, cedric. S- another slave and now cedric's helping her brush up yeah. she's a fast learner she yeah. wants to destroy your why? enemies with fire why do you why do you even need to learn magic my patron just gives me mine so Flower, and why, why is everyone's AC so Patrick, low? What's the name of your spells again? Huh? You said, what's the name of your?